there's a new Thrive Theme Builder starter theme now available, and this one's being marketed around authors or writerpreneurs is what a lot of the emails I've been getting uh, have been saying. Now, before we jump in and take a look at this theme, and, and there's some really cool things to look at, and it's worth checking out, I want to go over some of the things that I say about all of the starter themes for Thrive Theme Builder, and that's that that's what they are. They're starter themes. So for example, this one is called Bookwise, and uh, like the name sounds, right? It's geared more towards authors and, and writers. And I, I think there's probably room for like consultants and uh, people like that. Um, but that doesn't mean that only authors can or should use this particular theme. In fact, let's take again, I, and I say this all the time, let's take one step back and say, is this actually a theme? Uh, to that, I would say no. Uh, Thrive does use the terminology. We have a new theme available. Um, but no, it's theme builder is your theme right? Theme Builder in WordPress is your theme. You don't install anything new with Bookwise. You just simply choose Bookwise as the starter set of templates. Now, there is still some things to note about selecting one of these starter templates, and that's that they come with a set of like look and feel and pre-made things, um, but that doesn't mean you're stuck using this theme or starter set of designs in order to achieve any of this. Everything inside of Bookwise can be made if you're using the original, I believe it was called Shape Shift starter theme for Thrive Theme Builder. Everything you see in Bookwise can be made with any of the other starter themes for Theme Builder. I get that question a lot, so I wanted to make sure that before we jump in and look at Bookwise and look at all the really cool things that are available, you realize that you do not have to use Bookwise to make your site look or function like this. All right, so let's go through Bookwise. I want to point out a couple of really neat things that uh, that come with it. I'm going to keep myself in a pip unless I get in the way. Um, so essentially, this is Thrive's demo site where we can look at all the different types of pages and things that are built with and come with uh, the Bookwise layout. Now, the like I said, the site is kind of geared more towards somebody that has books, but it doesn't have to be. I, I think that a lot of this design works really well with someone who's like a speaker or a consultant or a personality, someone that's selling themselves as their brand. Now let's start off by taking a look at the navigation up here. So there's the uh, homepage options and they give two of them that are kind of pre-made for you uh, right off the bat. You have the author focused homepage uh, and that's what we're looking at right now, right? It's it's looking at this uh, stock photo model here. Um, it's kind of, you know, put yourself into this, right? So it's you and a little bit of bio about you, a couple of the books that you've made, um, some of the events, and we'll get into this in a second. Uh, a lot of authors like to do book signings and uh, speaking tours and things like that. Um, this is a really nice way to make an event section, basically. Um, but if you think about this, what this probably really is, uh, is just a post list element. Let's take a look here at the top here where they're choosing interview, book tours, webinars, or meetups. Uh, this is the new filter feature that was just released last week. And I have a video all about that here on the channel that I'll, I'll link up in the cards up here. So below that, there's the reviews. Thrive Architect uh, has these stars and things like that. Uh, uh, you can view all the reviews to probably go to a reviews page. Uh, this section is pretty common. I actually have a lot of author clients um, and something that they want to make sure they have on their site is imagery and buttons taking people to Amazon, a lot of self-publishing authors. Uh, and this is nice to also show that you have ebook formats. Um, here's a more standard post list here. Uh, and then you kind of get the idea with a, a pretty simple footer. Now let's go back up to the top and let's go back to our navigation because there's also a book focused homepage. Now, I don't know if you caught that as this page loaded, but this book on the right hand side was gray. And that's because uh, I believe um, this is using what Thrive used to do a lot more of in the past with some of their uh, pre-made templates. They're kind of like mocking up. Like, remember, I don't know if you've been with Thrive for a while. Remember, they had that big kick of like the, the no Photoshop like image designs. And it was because it was like using Thrive Architect to make the mockups and renders. I'm pretty sure that's what they're doing here. Uh, it's kind of like a nice time-saving way of just having a content box with some shadowing and stuff like that. And you can just upload your image and it kind of just makes this book for you. Um, definitively, I mean, look, I can highlight this text. So really it's a content box with a book title. So if you want to use that, I bet you totally could. Otherwise you could just upload your own photo here with a no margin down at the bottom. Uh, but but uh, in general here with this homepage, this is focused on the books itself. This is probably what a prolific author would use, someone that has a lot of content. 
out there and they're known for their stories or they're known for their material uh, rather than marketing themselves. So again, um, this right here, this is going to be a tabbed section. It's just a Thrive Architect element that you can uh, drop in about the author here. Um, I like this, this sneak peek. Um, I have some ideas for how authors can use Thrive Suite uh, to kind of like build their build their community, build their audience, their readership um, one way. And by the way, I'm going to link in the pinned comment down below. Um, I might be a couple hours after this goes live, but I'm going to link a post on Convology.com where I run through some of the ideas that I have for how a author can use Thrive Suite. One of those in particular is the idea of releasing free chapters inside of Thrive Apprentice and then either having the audio version of your book available in Thrive Apprentice or a written version uh, or video companions like a companion guide along with uh, the book. So I'm going to go over some more of those details inside of a write-up at Convology. So if you're interested, check out the pinned comment. All right, we're back at uh, this section here, an events section. This one definitely looks a little bit more manually made, um, which is pretty cool. And we're going to jump into some of these other pages in a second. Uh, Looks like um, image uh, gallery carousel there, uh, post list with just a, a content box here with the featured image as the dynamic background. That looks really nice, actually. Uh, yeah, and then more of the same. So if we go back up to the top, um, they've got a couple other pages that I want to take a look at. Very standard about page. And, and again, my goal here is to go through and to kind of identify how things are built for you and kind of point some things out that I'm seeing. Um, one thing that I, I like about the bookwise theme is that, or starter set, we'll still call it a theme. Uh, what I like about it is that they've given some kind of like neat, uh, ideas and some pre-done graphics for you. Like for example, uh, this feather here, I'm hovering over it and you can see the title tag is of the image is popping up. It's the bookwise feather. I think that's a neat touch that they're providing you these images rather than you having to go out and find them. That's probably going to be a theme consistent no pun intended, a theme consistent across this theme is this idea of saving you time and creating a website quickly without having to, with, with removing as much friction as possible. Um, so this is interesting. They're just using their, <laughs> I don't know if I would do this on my site, create a nice gallery of yourself um, using probably their uh, masonry gallery feature. Um, that's kind of funny. So let's go now to uh, the books page. So here we have a nice just uh, section here where they've got their books. Again, these um you can highlight the text here. So this is taking uh, the images of these books kind of like superimposed onto content boxes with a shadow for the spine. And you can put your own title on there. You could easily swap these content boxes for your own book images. And that would, that would probably work just fine. Um, but it does link off over to individual pages. And as we go down, they've uh, manually created uh, a video gallery. This is actually a pretty good idea. Um, by clicking watch now, I don't know if it's going to do it. No, it just, just jumps up. But one idea that I have for this section here in Thrive Architect, if you add a button and then you go in the left-hand panel down to animation and action, uh, you can actually choose one of the options to bring a video up in a light box and then have it like hosted on YouTube or Vimeo or Wistia. And it'll just play nicely right up on the screen in like a modal or a light box. And then people can close it. So this is, this is a nice way to kind of like show videos on a page without having to redirect anywhere. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, pretty much more of the same. Oh, this is interesting. They're using shadows to create like the effect of the spine of the book here. And then they're using a shadow effect to create what looks like uh, 3D pages. Uh, their designers do a really good job at stuff like that. Um, okay, so that's the, the books page. Uh, the reviews page, I'm going to assume, yeah, it's just, just my, that might be using a Thrive Ovation, um, but just pulling in some stuff. This right here, and notice how when the screen hits this and it scrolls down, it's just going to be a, a scroll behavior. So if you select, uh, if you make a column and you put a content box in the left-hand column, you can click on the content box here, the section here, this like beige section, go into the left-hand column and find scroll behavior and then say to sticky to top and then tell it to sticky either until the bottom or until the bottom of the section. In this case, it's bottom of the section so that this from the reader section, um, the column is probably the beige, and then this is a content box in the entirety of the column. So it makes the appearance that the right scrolls while the while the left does not until it hits the bottom of that container. And that's a really, really neat effect too. And then just a contact form. All right, uh, we're getting there. I wanna check out their events page. 
Uh, this uh, is a post list. So what they've probably done is they've probably created categories or tags in the blog. And this one up at the top is the featured one. So when you add a post list, they've probably created the category or tag as events um, or come upcoming events. And then they chose to have a featured section. So it pulls up a featured one. And then, um, or, or this could have been manual and they've just got this set to, um, I don't know, you could probably go either way, set a featured blog post or manually make this top one. And then it's just a post list showing all the posts that are events. So that's a, a neat effect there. And then that's pretty cool too, like another post list uh, where you could kind of tag events as like past events and show them there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So just lots of different mixing of post lists for, again, think of this like um, Thrive uses the terminology silo pages. So this is basically like an events silo page. So if we start back up at the top, we have the upcoming events, the past events, and the live events, uh, and the interviews. Those are all probably categories or tags and their post lists. And it just basically is a nice way to store all your stuff in one spot, but have different sections. All right, so that's the events page. They do have special templates that they've made for each kind of like of the of the pages you would expect for more of the marketing side of having a website for a writer. It's probably where they get a lot of their like conversion writerpreneur uh, lingo that they've been tossing around in the emails we got recently. If we jump into the first one, they've built a page template. This is in Thrive Theme Builder. They have a standard page template where their top section uh, has this uh, image in the background and then they've taken a content box and given it a negative margin so that it feels like it's cut out of the image. Uh, and then otherwise, um, they've got a box layout here uh, and this is just showcasing some of the typography. And then I bet this is a bottom section that they have saved promoting like a book in this case. So that would be their standard page template. And any page that you create within the theme will have this as the standard page. And of course, it's something that you can, you can make as many page templates as you want. And you can even completely wipe them out if you don't like this design. Um, they also have some webinar pages, uh, like for example, um, I have actually, I think I have a video here on the channel, um, and then I have a whole course on this for Kavology Pro members uh, that goes into creating webinar funnels using Thrive Ultimatum um, and some other Thrive tools and works really, really well. Reserve your seat, that could trigger your webinar um, platforms pop up or uh, just a sign up form and you can link to a page on your site um, and put people, tag people in uh, using Thrive Automator, tag them in your email list. Um, it's just probably manually made for the rest of this. And then a Thrive Ultimatum countdown. Uh, so good stuff. Um, notice that on this page, the header's gone. And that's because it's, it's in the common thinking, right? That if we remove the distractions, people will take action. Um, test it yourself, um, but it's a decent, decent strategy. So if I hit back and I come back, my, my header here has returned. They have a webinar video page. Uh, this would be like where your event is at, or maybe this could be like uh, used as like a preview page. And again, inside of Thrive Ultimatum, you can set a page for uh, before the event has started, and then obviously your event page, and then a page if they missed the event. Um, so if you wanted to use Thrive Ultimatum to do like a webinar, you could have this be, uh, this looks like it is like the before the, the before the event starts, the page that someone might go to as like a confirmation or maybe like a video promo for it. Um, overall, just just well built. Now we'll go to the thank you page. This this is yeah, there we go. Where you give people like the date and add to their calendar and stuff like that. Share it on social. Uh, I probably would have put honestly, I probably would have put the header back on this one. And by the way, if on any of these you want the header to be there, you can actually go into the template and just turn it back on. Uh, lead generation page. Maybe this is like uh, you have a link on your homepage or something that says join, you know, join my readership audience or join whatever. You could link them here uh, and they could come and learn a little bit more. It's, it's like a sales page for your email list. And again, no header on that. You can turn that back on. If you use double opt-in, they've made one of those like check your email pages. Again, they're just bringing the feather in, which I think is a nice touch. Uh, and then they have the thank you page. It's interesting. I don't know if I've seen that on too many of their templates. I just Maybe I just missed it, but it's nice to have a thank you page. At least one that's pre-done, uh, and that one has a nice touch. 404 page is pretty standard. Post list. I think this one looks really nice. Uh, but then the next one, uh, all blocks. 
that's kind of cool. So if you're not familiar with the block editor, what this is talking about is when you're making a landing page or even when you're editing content like a page or a post, this is something I, I lobbied for pretty hard a couple of years back is the ability to take those same blocks that you can use in a landing page and in a theme, but be able to use them anywhere you want. And for example, if you're editing a page or post on the right hand side in the element tray at the very top, it says blocks. You can click on that and then you can look at just like page blocks, theme blocks, or all blocks. And each of the sections here, um, they're showing you kind of the blocks that they've pre-built. So they've got all the blocks from the about page, all the article blocks that they've made, uh, the benefit section blocks. And so they've created different variations of these for you to be able to just drop in a block. And if you're like, you know what, I'm, I'm building a, a new page on my site, maybe a book's coming out. Let me drop a hero block, an about block, a benefits block so that I can kind of like include bits about the chapters. And um, here we go. They've got like illustrated list blocks and again, so on and so forth. Um, a lot of these are really neat. Actually, this is cool. The product highlight blocks. They've kind of got those book mockups for you. But in general, that's what you get with the bookwise theme. I think it looks pretty clean. Um, it's going to be... Uh, it's probably going to be one that not a lot of people are going to want to just up and switch to. And speaking of which, what's involved with switching to one of these new themes? Well, it's not something that I would recommend doing on a live environment or a live site if you get uh, any kind of traffic at all. Because when you switch themes, think about this, all of your templates are going to switch over to these templates. And that's going to break the look of your site completely uh, if you've done any customization to the templates. Now you can easily switch right back um, because that's how Theme Builder works, right? You can create as many themes as you want uh, and just swap between them. Um, but do this on like a staging environment, swap over to it and see if this fits your, your aesthetic and, and your design, maybe what you're trying to accomplish as a writer or writerpreneur a little bit more. I hope you found that first look at the Thrive Theme Builder Bookwise Starter Theme helpful. And if you have any other questions about how you can use Thrive Themes or all of Thrive Suite, in fact, uh, for your site, whether you're a, a writer, a writerpreneur, or you're just looking to build a really great site, feel free to head over to convology.com. As always, you can leave a question down below. And don't forget, I am going to pin that comment uh, with my write-up on how writers specifically can use Thrive Suite and various plugins within the Thrive Suite ecosystem to do some pretty cool stuff with their marketing on their site.